Karen. Today we are going to introduce these non-dried die pad machines to pad this non-dried liquid board. And this die pad machine is suitable for the, this type of pad. We call it die pad. It with the different and um, here stand up bed. The machine also can pad the bed with with the power, and without the zip, it also can handle it. Okay, this machine is with the winner, and it's suitable for some granules or some dry fruit or meat. It the uh, accuracy. It can reach 1% one, 1 accuracy and maybe some customer ask the driver uh, to reach the accuracy this machine we should vote for him to choose and this notary machine is consists of four parts one is the zip tie winner to transport the uh, materials from the ground to the top of the winner and the second part is the multi hands winner to weigh the products. And the third part is this notary mean packer. The notary mean packer has eight working stations to finish the bad, uh, bad packing. This notary uh, mean packer has eight working stations. One is feeding the a uh, bed into the machine and second is day printer to print the day code on the bed and third is open the bed by the opening device and three and fourth working station is fill the product or the laundry board into the bed and the fifth working station is the pressure and the last working station is feed the gas into the bath and then the last one working station is the output the fresh product 20 to 40 baht per minute okay let, let us to switch on this machine and let you see this machine how to work and how to finish the each packing process Introduce this this whole set machines to you to let you more know more details. And now the first part is the.
engineer customized this machine is a little special than the other standard machine because you can see this laundry board is a, is a little sticky. If too much laundry board starts in here, that they will stick it together and if the vibration hopper cannot vibrate the laundry board to let it flow down to here. So we decide a convener in the storage hopper to move the launch bird from the from the storage hopper to this to this hopper to transport the launch bird from the ground and to the winner. The okay. okay, the second part is the let my colleague Miss Kai, Miss Karen, to introduce you. Hi, now I would like to introduce you about the multi head rater. In this multi head rater, we have 10 head rater and 40 head rater, and more than 40 head, like 24 head. Uh, the 10 the multi head rater is controlled by this touch screen. All the working situation you can see in this touch screen. Now, the target number in here is in 400 gra gram. And you can see in here. Uh, when you press the stop button here, it will turn into green. This is the running line. When the blue one light, it means the machine is stopping. And when you make the rear running, it will in yellow. When you stop the machine, you can go into the first page so that you can see the running and the system controlling all in here. See, this is the page of the. We have the excluding function. If the rear melt, um, combining on the multi head rear is overweight and then this hopper will open in this page and will make the overweight product uh, not feeding into the pro uh, into the bag when the wear is meet the, our meet our requirement and it will flow into the bag to the filling hopper now let's go upstairs to see what the Ten multi head rear is working with. See in here, this is the uh, support performer. The support performer is in uh, three uh, stainless steel in uh, three zero four material. You can see it is very stronger and it can support uh, more than five hundred gram uh, into here. It means that you can stand in here with more than five people and it will also helpful for people to clean the multi carrier and check it to for it is very easy for the uh, maintain in uh, later in here because the product is in store, water storable product it is laundering so it we will easy to stick with the standard surface so we decided in into the pattern surface with uh, teflon in off, out of the uh, the surface you can see in here with this it, it is not easy to see with the surface and here it will have a vibrate function when the product uh, it is uh, need to vibrate into the hopper it will vibrate and then feeding into the traction hopper and then the second hopper is the me measuring hopper to measure the how many gram inside the hopper and then four heads of the hopper will combine together to make sure the accuracy will be in height it is in about uh, 
surface. In the working surface, if it have a sensor on here, if the product is too much on this working platform, if the service will can sense it, the sensors can sense it and make the receptacle conveyor automatic stop. And if their length of product, the sensors will make a uh, give a reaction to the receptacle conveyor, and then the receptacle conveyor can automatic feeding into this uh, ten head reader. Now uh, that is all about the ten head reader. Let's go downstairs and learn more about the Maypacker. In Here, I would like to introduce you about our Maypacker. This is the first phase of our machine. You can see it, the impact machinery, and you can choose English or Chinese in here. We also have the other language. If you have the requirement, you can tell us and we can customize the language for you, like Spanish or uh, any Japanese language in here. This is the running page. We just press this running button and then it will run. And here is the speed of the machine. You can set the speed on here. And this is each option of the position in here. You can press all the button in here and see what is the situation running with the machine. In this page, in this page, when you press the password into here, the correct password will show in to our customer. If you order the machine here, let's go into the May pattern. In here, this is the horizontal back giving uh, device. With this function, with this device, it can put about 50 to 80 bags in here. And it will automatically giving the bag into the first position with this wheel and the sucker. And this is the robot hand can transport the product into the May Packer. Working with like this. The robot head will transport the back into the first position. Now let's go to the second position. In the second position, you will have the date printer on the bottom of the bag. You can print the bed on here, print the date on here, and in here, on the top of the bag. You will have a circle, and here have a tube, can open the zipper. This is major for the zipper bed. It can increase the uh, su uh, successful back open rate. And now let's go to the third position. In the third position here, it, it has four sucker on here. To open the bottle of the bag in here, it will have the air feeding to help the bag opening. And these have two, uh, two uh, functions. And this have a circle to to make sure the back opening rate is in height. To, uh, the back opening rate is in about 99% for our machine. With this function, also have a sensor on here. If the back is not successful opening, 
the fourth uh, position feeding position will stop feeding, which makes sure the machine will be more automation. Uh, it is a feeding uh, hopper. This hopper with the vibrate function to make sure when the product is feeding into this hopper, it will fill in into the bag successfully, not stuck, stuck on here. And here also have the vibrate function to make sure the bag into uh, stand up like this. Now uh, up, above is for a position of the machine. Now we still have the another four position of the machine, and my colleague Jennifer will show you. Okay, there are two working station. It's an it's option. So customer, if they want to this, they want to decide it. Our engineer also can make for them. You can see this first this optional working station is not this creature to put their materials into the bed again and um, avoid um, avoid the materials stick on the top of the bed to make sure that each bed can sleep well and um, the last station is the filling gas device if like some customer if want to pack their dry food they want to fill some nitrogen gas into the bed this device also can make can fill the gas into the bed by the way there are there are sensor to identify if the bed have their materials if there are no bed like this is empty bed the, this work this working station will stop and do not work. That means no materials not steering. And the last working station is the steering. It's still the bed and then uh, this convener will transport the finished product from this notary main packer to the customer the walking station, walking plane. Okay, let us chat. This one is our electricity board. The, this one is PLC control system. It's from the Snyder's from France. And this one is thermal motor. It's also the Snyder's from France. This one is the inter, inter, intermediate replace from the Omunons from Japan. You can see the dots of the electricity board are sticking the paper and there are some instructions, some installations to teach customers how to uh, connect the electricity wires on their boards. Okay, the more is more especially our whole set of machine is controlled by the can structure device to measure the notary. Let me show you the can structure of the machine. You can see there. This this is the can structures of the machine to control the eight working station. This this design would make sure the uh, each working station can work the more smoothly and more perfect, and the machine can so can serve it for long time. Okay. Uh, I believe Miss Kais, Miss Karen can get your ideas and some questions to ask me. Yeah, uh, above 
uh, all our introduction, maybe you have learned more about our machine. And now I would like to uh, ask Jennifer some questions to help our customer to uh, have a uh, deep understanding of our machine. Yeah, Jennifer, maybe some customer will wonder sure the machine can run it in high accuracy for the loose luxury product. Yeah. Uh, our our 10 pan spinner is uh, can pack the high accuracy product. The accuracy is around one percent error. Uh, the more important is this spinner has the expression spinner device. Uh, if customers want to get the uh, accuracy error is three percent, they can set the into the touch screen. If the if some product is cannot get the accuracy, the winner will output and to make sure that each product fill into the bed is at one percent accuracy. Oh yeah, it sounds very great. And I also have a question. I saw that the ESAP type conveyor is a little bit different with the uh, standard one. I want to know why uh, the whole packing solution will design like that. Yeah, because we yes, the the zip tie winner is a little special because we pack the product is the liquid laundry board. The liquid laundry board the fuel is a little sticky. If too much uh, too much laundry board put together, they will stick and buckle the output. So we, dis we decided to come in into the storage hopper uh, instead of the vibration hopper. We'll, the conveyor will transport the liquid port from the storage hopper and output to the each transport hopper. Yeah, it is great to make me more clear about the function of the except type conveyor. And maybe the customer will miss some uh, uh, detail of the machine just now and now I would like to uh, can you introduce the eight function for uh, us again so that we can uh, answer understand well okay it's sure the notary mean packer has eight working station so let me introduce each working station for you again first this one is horizontal feeding bed device. It will transport the bed with the zipper of a stand-up bed. And the second working station is, is the printer day code or production code on the bed. By the way, because this bed is, has the zipper, so there will, there will be installed the Open zipper device to on the top of the disk station. We can see there is the open device with the sucker. Um, the third, the three working station is to open the bed again. You can see. The thumb and the toes of the bat have their sucker to open the bat and this sensor will insert their bat. This sensor will insert the bat to make sure the bat is opening. If there if the sensor is opening too over and cannot catch the bat, this sensor will transport the signal to the to the next station during device to let it no, no opening bed and no filling. Okay, the fourth working station is filling is filling the mid laundry bird into the bed. And the And the third working station is an optional station. Uh, the customer can 
it can customize by our customer products. Uh, the went after the products spill into the bed, maybe some products is sticking on the top, and this postures you put the products to the bottom of the bed to make sure there are no products on the top, and to let it let the not station to stick well. And the next and the next station is the next station is the is it also the optional function optional walking station. Maybe you can install the bushes in here to clean the top of the bed to let the power some dust or powers do not stick on this bed and. This working station is the filling the gas into the bed. You can see the special string has the has the position of the pad device. Uh, okay, the last working station is the ceiling. It will seal the bed and then output by this container. Okay, I I believe you are made you are not each each function of this machine. Karen, do you yeah. have any questions on this machine? Yeah, your, your introduction is very uh, clear. So that may all of the customer and me also have a well understanding on it. And now I would like to uh, ask that because as you mentioned, there have two options in, in of our position. Uh, I want to know uh, if that two option, what kind of, uh, what is the choices for it? Yeah. Uh, you can, the rotary main packer has two optional working station. It can install the pushers or some cleaning pushers in here. And this filling, this filling gas device also is an option. It's can customize by your products. Like the drivers need to fill the gas, you can fill the nitrogen into the bed. Yeah. Uh, now I really uh, know more about the machine, but I still want to know that what kind of product can be uh, fitting with this type of machine. Can you introduce to our customers so that our customer can have idea? Uh, if their product can be used with this type of machine. Okay, you can see or some meat or some uh, dry food. The multi hand trainer can make them at a high accuracy. So if you want to use this dry pad machine to pass some liquid or some powder, you need to change this metering device. Uh, you can like the liquid pump or some old school auger device to metering the powder and then fill into this uh, machine. The main machines will will finish it, the will finish the printer and filling and then sealing. Oh yeah, it is great to hear that. So that all of customer it is more clear about the machine now. Now and I also very uh, clear about the whole set of machine. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, today we introduce this joy pad machine to you. Uh, if you have any ideas or you want to use the machine also to pad your product, you can contact us. Uh, you can click our the borrowed website and find us. We will online on 24 hours and reply to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.